this may or may not be a vlog. <laughs> I don't think that there's another antique store open until I get to Sydney. Not Australia, obviously. If only I had a house. <laughs> a lot of furniture. No room in the car to take furniture with me. That's beautiful. Trouble is afoot. <gasps> Pussycat! Welcome or welcome back to my channel, everyone. And hopefully a vlog. I'm currently traveling around Cape Breton Island with my mum and my dad and I discovered there's actually quite a lot of antique stores on Cape Breton Island. Although we are moving from one part of the island to the other today, which is why I'm packing all my stuff up and getting ready to go. On the way, my mum wants to stop at a few places. So I have artfully selected from the many antique stores that all look super beautiful on this island. I've artfully selected ones that are on our journey. Once I finish packing my bag, I need to go and convince my mother that we go to these antique stores and add that to her itinerary. Now, I don't know if she's gonna go for this or not. I don't know about your mothers or your fathers. My dad is kind of go with the flow, but my mom, she loves an itinerary. So I'm gonna finalize my bag and get downstairs to breakfast and then try to convince her that we should go antiquing today. I think she'll say yes, but you never know with mum. She can be a bit of a wild card. So I'm gonna take you guys with me, but I'm gonna do it on my phone because I don't want her to know that I'm filming because I don't want her to feel on the spot. But I also <laughs> am hoping that she says yes. And then you guys can see her saying yes. So we'll see. But currently, as I'm filming this, this may or may not be a vlog. <laughs> you guys, I tried to film mum. She knew exactly what I was doing and she was pre-coffee. So <laughs> she said no to the filming um, because obviously I'm not at all subtle enough. But she did agree to go to antique stores. So that is very good news. Thanks, mama. You guys, we're at the first antique shop. It's an art and antiques. I think it's quite small and little, but I'm super excited to get it and see what they got. Hopefully some goodies that I can take home. Something small, I think. Thank you very much. Unlucky you guys, this beautiful little antique store behind me right there is called Miles From Nowhere. Unfortunately, it is closed. Uh, it should be open. It says it's open today from 12. It's 12.45, I think, um, but it's just not open. So that is a shame. Um, I don't think that there's another antique store open until I get to Sydney, not Australia, obviously. So we might try there, but I think that's more antique furniture. It's such a shame this place isn't open because it has some really cute, well-priced, like smaller antique things that I'm pretty sure I probably would have had an absolute field day with, but that's all right. You know, we do what we can. And unfortunately I can't go into this place. Oh. Is this the antiques? Yeah. Cool. Ah. Am I allowed to say hello to the dog? Ah. Hi. Hello. You're very, you don't want to be my friend? That's about right. Who likes you? Why don't you like me? I smell like boy. You smell like boy. Dog, dog like boys. I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. It's inside as well? Cool. Thank 
See, I love this sort of stuff, but I don't know that Mathis really is as into these little bottles as I am. Oh, look at this, $40. 35 bucks for this? That's, that's good. Oh, I feel like we've had a little gem here. I know. There's some really cool stuff here. Oh, that's great preachers, not great expectations, my bad. <laughs> third place, princes and cheap furniture and collectibles and we actually had on the way here we found one that was sort of like on the side of the road that turned out to be really incredible and I got a book so I will show you guys that at the end of the video I'll do a little haul. This place looks pretty cool, a lot of furniture, no room in the car to take furniture with me but still I might find some, some cute little collectibles, we'll see. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Oh, I wasn't, but what do you think? <laughs> do you want me to pop a candle in that? Yes, that's beautiful. Even if the sky is falling down, even if the sky is Christmas mugs. <laughs> it looks like the Santa head that Mum puts on the Christmas tree every single year. Mum, look at the Santa right in the middle of the tree. The Santa head. <laughs> Does it not look like the, the tree? Yes. Even if the sky is falling down. You guys, we've just pulled up to the cutest little antique. It's a gifts and antiques place. So it's called Granny's Gifts and Antiques. It looks very cute. There's some baskets out the front that have already caught my eye. So trouble is afoot. Let's go in and see what they've got. I think it's, it's that mixture of like gifts and antiques. Hence the name. I probably didn't need to explain that. Let's go. <gasps> Pussycat! Hi, friend. Hello. You want to be my friend? Hi. You're very cute. Not as cute as my cat, but you're cute enough. Let's get out. We can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the country. 
countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Hey, darling. No, I'm serious. I really love this light. Hey mama, there's some teacups here with the Scottish thistle. This rolling pin. Forty-five. Probably a bit expensive, but I'll think about it. What's that one? An antique French one. Oh, how much is that? It's the same price. That's that's very cool. Forty-five for an antique French. I do like that. Yeah. Of that and that, what do you find the most interesting? That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so less backseat driving. <laughs> We're at our final antique destination. Technically, it's kind of cheating because it's not Cape Breton, but it's on our way out of Cape Breton. Two hours out of it. <laughs> on our way to Halifax. So we're actually just outside Halifax. So technically not a Cape Breton one, but I'm gonna go check it out anyway. for you guys from my Cape Breton antiquing. Now, there were definitely a couple places that were closed, which was frustrating, but I did find some really cute things. So, we're gonna start off, well, this one's easier. So I found this tin. Now, I didn't actually find this one at an antique store. I actually found this at a place called Mrs. McGregor's and it's a shortbread, like Scottish style shortbread place, but they had antiques in the shop which was really cool so i got this i just you know i love the colors i love the tin it was 350 i think about 350 or three dollars which was very cool then at someone's kind of like a backyard antique store they sort of had a shed a whole bunch of stuff i found this book which i just really like the spine of it and i thought that that was really gorgeous it's a little dusty it needs some cleaning up but the spine was really pretty and you know green is my favorite color so i got that as well and this one was five dollars we need to unwrap this one i got this one in sydney at one of the antique stores there and i just thought it was really pretty to be honest i kind of want it for myself but it's got peacocks on it which my mother loves so it is for my mom it's four dollars and she wants me to pop a little candle in there so i am actually going to make this one into a candle but it's just like look at that 
Look at that design, isn't it just so gorgeous? And then on the inside, the little flowers as well. I really like this one. So that will be for Mama, and she's gonna have a candle in there. Then, this is probably my favorite. It was also the most expensive, but it was on our way out of Cape Breton Island. There was a place called Granny's Antiques and Gifts. So she had some antiques, she had some gift type things. This coffee grinder so it works quite well not that we're necessarily going to use it it's more for decoration a little drawer here but inside this little drawer and this is one of the things that totally sold this to me you can very vaguely maybe not on this side hold on you can vaguely see in here it's got like the grinding instructions so most of it is is challenging to read on the bottom it says patent february 7th 1860 this is from the 1800s which is pretty dang cool if you ask me. She did have it listed for, I think it was 75 and I offered 55 and she accepted. So more on the pricey side, I think if she hadn't done the discount, I may have probably still bought it, <laughs> but I'm happy she did the discount because it's definitely a little on the pricey side, but I just think it's really beautiful. And I am planning to do a little bit of a revamp of our coffee and tea section in my kitchen at home eventually. This will probably be included as like a little decorative thing. So that is the whole, that is the antiquing in Cape Breton Island. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog little antique with me. I certainly love doing them. A, because I love buying things and B, because I love antiques. So it kind of ticks all my boxes. I'm pretty excited to get some of this stuff home and do a little bit of decorating, which I will obviously show you guys in another video. But until then, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, the like button. You can follow me over on Instagram as well. I'm on there and I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye guys. Designed in New York, but made in England. Interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, it's got recipes on it. A pinch of salt in your chocolate.